What's going on, folks? Thanks for tuning into the Impact Lounge. You have myself, Ro the Great, and this is the Explosion Review. For those of you first time listeners, go ahead and please hit the subscribe button as well as give a thumbs up, thumbs down, drop a comment, share your thoughts. Your feedback's important. Also, be sure to check out the other content on the channel. There's tons of videos regularly uploaded. So uh, be sure to check those out and share your likes, comments as well. Very well then, getting into Explosion. Our feature match for this week was Rohit Raju versus Caleb Conley. Now for these guys accompanying to the ring with him, they had local radio hosts. Um, for the past couple weeks, Explosion's been having different little things. Um, like I want to say, for example, last week they had uh, kids announcing the wrestlers to the ring. Um, I don't know what kind of a uh, promotion they had going on, but hey, it's always cool. It's good to see Impact, you know, working those partnerships. So, you know, kudos to Impact. As far as the match, um, you know, it's something standard. I, I, Josh tried to sell it as it having X Division implications as far as, you know, the winner can get a future title shot. I mean, we know that's just him talking. There's no really no credence to it, but... The thing I love is it gave both these guys an opportunity to actually wrestle. On Impact, we don't see Rohit Raju that much outside of the random tag or random X Division match. And Conley, a lot of times when he's in his angles with Lee or, you know, a few matches that he's had tagging with Lee, we haven't really seen a lot of his moveset or seen what he's really been able to do. So this match gave both these guys an opportunity. And like I said, it was nothing you know, too over the top. Rohit Raju was able to get his his shine in, as well as Caleb Conley. The ending came when the host that was accompanying Conley interfered, ref distraction, and uh, Conley capitalized on it and was able to hit his finisher. He's using the Samoan driver, and uh, he gets the one, two, three. And I was happy because I can't recall ever seeing Conley win a match in Impact, let alone win with his finisher. So, yeah, I thought that was cool. And that's what Explosion, what I like what they're doing with Explosion is got people that we don't regularly see on Impact, they're getting the opportunity to perform on Impact. With that said, and I know a lot of commenters have uh, voiced their opinion on this, I'd like for them to add another match compared to just having this one match because this was the only match, unfortunately. So then next, we kind of get a couple of recaps. Our first is the Impact versus Lucha Underground. For those of you who haven't seen it, be sure to check it out on Twitch. It's on the under the archives. This was nicely done. Um, credit to both Impact and Lucha Underground. It, it seems foreign nowadays for companies to partner with one another because everyone wants to be number one and everyone's in uh, competition with one another. And that's fine and all. But every now and then to have things like this, us fans, not from only the impact side, but the Lucha side, as well as wrestling fans in general, we all benefit from it. And it opens the eyes where like me, I wasn't too familiar with Lucha Underground. But after seeing some of their wrestlers, it might be something that I'm willing to catch. And I think that's the goal when you have these type of cross promotions. So um, if you haven't seen that, highly recommend it. Also, the other recap we got, it was a little bit of the El Patron and Austin Aries, just kind of the buildup. I mean, we all know that that matches off the cards due to El Patron's departure from the company. Well, not his departure, his release. So we got Austin Aries cutting the promo and they showed some of the 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 stuff that happened during the press conference. And then they also showed how we got the match that we're getting at Redemption with uh, Phoenix and Pentagon. How Austin Aries cut the promo at House of Hardcore stating that he didn't really get a chance to compete in the, in the match that they had at the Lucha Underground Impact cross promotion. So let's do it again and sets up the title match. So I thought that was pretty cool too. So yeah, like I said, be sure to check that out, you guys, if you haven't. Finally, our flashback we get for the week is Lockdown 2010 
for the TNA Heavyweight World Championship, we had champion AJ Ric Flair Styles, because he was doning the Ric Flair persona during this time, defending against the Pope D'Angelo De Niro. And man, this match, I I mean, I remember watching it when it initially aired, but this brought me back. Um, like, obviously, you know, you see the crowd, how big the crowds were. Obviously, it was a different time. But how over, I mean, we know how over AJ is. He still is to this day. But how over the Pope was, man. I mean, they even had during the match where you had fans, you know, the dueling chants. It wasn't so much this is awesome, but it was more of Pope is pimping versus let's go AJ. But nice back and forth match. There was a couple instances where Pope looked like he was going to pull it off and become champion. But then we see AJ resort to a pin thumbing to the eye and follow with the Styles Clash and he gets the win and retains his championship. But yeah, this, this I mean, they showed the whole match. Like I said, I know some commenters prefer and myself as well prefer them taking this out and actually replacing this for an actual explosion match. But this was a great match. Um, I recommend some of you guys, if you're interested, catch it on the GWN app. Then, I, I know I said finally, but lastly, I can't forget, our Impact Rewind, which was an odd choice. They decided to choose the six-man tag of the Cult of Lee and KM versus Tyrus, Falaba, and Richard Justice. Now, Ty Tyrus is no longer with the company again. Um, okay, I'm sure none of you guys care, but just thought I'd share that. Um, not much to say about this. The, the good guys get the win. You know, the standing up against bullying, and that's pretty much it. It was nothing really to write home about. So, yeah, and that's pretty much the whole show, the explosion review. Thanks for listening, and uh, until next time, you guys take care.